What's up YouTube? My name is Alec, better known as Last Minute Habits, and today we got a special guest in the building. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Nico. Nico and I have been friends for quite some time now, and we realized that we have a lot of the same things in our closet, just because there's been a few rare instances where Nico has put me on, but most cases she's always copying the things that I have in my closet. So we decided to have a fit battle to see who wears each piece the best. So we have three of the same things, uh, or we took three of the same things, and we're just gonna go head to toe with each piece. So let's not waste any more time. You ready to get it? Hell yeah. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Spin and go back. Yeah, blue steel. <laughs> Dead and dying. Are there way out? The first piece that we do have in our closet that is the same is the Nike CDG Shocks. Um, what do you like about this piece? Uh, I actually don't like them at all. Cool, because I think the Aritzia girls ruined the Nike Shocks for us, but it's all good. Um, so I have the white version with the chain. I have the black. All black. Black Air Force Energy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just really like the shape of the shoe. I think it's at the same time really easy to style super casually But then if you still want to be comfy, you can really amplify your outfit with a really cool silhouette like this So I think it's really special. There's so many cool details. Yeah, that's a bit distressing um, I wear it with the chain just because it's a bit extra But I'm actually noticing that there's some tarnishing going on with the chain. So it's that cheap CG quality <laughs> It's probably that CDG play quality, to be honest. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna style this one. Um, I'll go first and show you the pieces that I decided that were gonna work best in my favor for the CDG shots. Okay, so for the bottoms, I decided to go with the Path Post Archive Faction 3.1 center pants, I believe. I think it's 3.1 center pants. Um, I just love how the flare is on these pants, the straight leg, and this the shape of this silhouette goes really well and it hits the it hits the shoe so nicely. Um, it just spills over the top of the shoe beautifully. Um, I like how there's belt loops, so I like to have a belt on at all times just to have my waist snatched a bit. Um, then on top, I decided to go with, overall, I decided to go with the JC to Churro look for this look. Particularly, um, I think it just looks super good with the shocks. So, speaking of GC Dechiro, I got his brand, the FFFFF Postal Service. Yeah, the FF. This is a new pickup. Um, I just love the sun faded detailing on this hoodie, and I think a pop of color with some black and white energy is always great. You can never go wrong. Um, I just love the wideness, boxiness, but also the scallop bottom and how it like has that curvature at the parabola vibes at the bottom. Um, I think it just looks so beautiful going with the nice longer pant look but with the cropped at the top. And over the hoodie, I decided to throw on this Uniqlo U Cardi, well, struggles. Um, I decided to go with this Uniqlo U cardigan from their most recent collection. Um, it's a nice boxy, this is a struggle, hold on. There we go. No. Are you okay? No, I'm just kidding. No, no hanger. Okay. So, on top of the hoodie, I decided to go with this Uniqlo U. I just love the, you know, the typical cropped with the open sleeve, baggy sleeve look. This is just a beautiful piece from Christophe Lemaire's collection. Um, you just can't go wrong. Um, I went with an XL since it is a women's piece and it just layers beautifully overall um, with the outfit. So. I think that this was a great look. It just suits my style, kind of casual, but kind of more on an elevated casual look, but very inspired by JC DeChuro. All right, what do you got? This is my outfit. 
Okay. Um, so the base of the outfit is actually um, just a black t-shirt and then I paired it with these very linty um, plus J uh, split hem pant from Uniqlo. And these are really great. They're a really nice slim cut. Um, and that's just the first base of my outfit. And then on top, Wow, this is just a mess. a mess. And on top, I layered this Sakai asymmetrical skirt. Um, it has a really great quilted detail, and then um, the waistband is super cool. Yeah. There's just so many small details about it, but I love wearing it over my pants. I think it's just such a high fashion Peter Doe type of vibe. Yeah, I like how like it has like the boxer short type vibe yeah. um, on top. Yeah, it's pretty nice detailing. Yeah, and then I kind of just went along with a whole Sakai fit and I paired it with my favorite bomber and it has a really big pleat on the back. Um, this is also from Sakai in a size one. Both of my pieces are in a size one, but they're super oversized. So it is really nice to wear something slim underneath. But I thought it was a really cool, like interesting play on textures for an all black outfit. Yeah. I like how like it's boxy on the top, slimmer at the bottom, but you do have like that flare action. I think it's my favorite go-to look. So mm -hmm. yeah, but I think my fit's better, so. What? Yeah, so yeah. I think I won that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won that one. It just depends. I think what- I guess like your viewers don't really have good taste, so. Yeah, pretty, what? <laughs> 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 Obviously, they're subscribed to me because they love what I wear. Anyway, but I think we do have a lot of the similar, like a lot of the same and similar pieces, but we style them completely different. And I think that's why we like our styles, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I think hers is like bread with no butter sometimes, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I like that. But for this outfit, I think I got what? that, I, I dubbed that round because. Okay. Okay, so for the next piece that we do have the same of, unfortunately, is the CK205 Western Boots. Forgot the official name, but the infamous steel toe cap Chelsea boots. Um, yeah, so again, you got the black Air Force One Energy and I got the white one as per usual. I got the buckle version, you got the uh, straight up classic blastic version. I'll admit, you put me on because you sent me that nice link that I had these on for a steal. I think you got yours for a steal as well, right? So yeah, I got my I got mine off of eBay. Yeah. Yeah. So we both got them for a really great price. Like yeah. definitely under retail. Oh, um, way under retail way, because yeah, way, especially way, way around like the Barney sale prices. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a huge dub on this outfit because um, I wear these so nice. I know how to style these perfectly in my opinion, but then again, you have okay style too, so you might be coming from a head for this outfit, but I'm pretty sure I got the, the dub on this one, but let's get into the outfits. Uh, I'll go first once again, and, uh, or do you wanna go first? Doesn't matter, because it's either a quick L or a quick W for me, so let's go. Okay, so for the bottoms, you know I had to go with my favorite pair of pants that I have in my closet, and that is the YSL SLP flare trousers. Um, you know, these are a classic and a staple. I wear these all the time with anything, but they pair well, usually with like some slimmer in the calf silhouettes, um, like the Calvin. So, had to go with this. You know, I'm trying to go for a quick dub, and usually anything that involves the SLP trousers is an easy dub um you it doesn't have i didn't have any other white button-ups so i just went with the only white button-up that i do have and it was just my uh, leaks um cross panel button-up but i just kind of went with a kind of like a preppy schoolboy vibe um and i went with my poor man's non-runway lacoste sweater uh this is also a new pickup that i have not shown off yet but 
with the signature Lacoste uh, v-neck, that very emphasized v-neck that is seen on a lot of Lacoste's runway shows. Um, this, yeah, this is the poor man's version, just like the poor man's Rick Owens and Doc Martin's version of it. That's how I like to compare this to, but a nice crop silhouette, a very like emphasized ribbed um, bottom, that ribbed knit bottom, and also has a very boxy wide um, silhouette and it does have a pre-folded like it has I can unstitch it if I want to but it does come pre-folded like a pre-hemmed at the cuffs there but yeah very preppy schoolboy look and it does have that like Gryffindor um, Hucklebuffin what, what? Is, what is what is it what Hucklebuff Huckle, no. Hubble Hubba Bubba Gryffindor, what's that? Hufflepuff. Huffle, Hufflepuff. Finn. Yeah, you would be in Hufflepuff because you're dumb. <laughs> yeah, so that Slytherin um, emblem that is signature on a lot of McCarthy schoolboy looks. Um, but yeah, I think this outfit in general, going with the white button up underneath, just, you know, the very preppy schoolboy look, like I've said about three times already. So definitely a easy easy look to pull off but it just looks so good on me that bro can you stop talking oh my god i'm just i, I oh just oh my I love god this, we get it i love this outfit i mean okay get all right get yours over with nobody wants to we get it schoolboy look so oh i did i mention that oh my a very god. If, all right show yours stupid fit off then and shit what do you okay. got so i'm wearing this sweater <laughs> It's from Uniqlo. I got it for ten dollars. Um, I went with an all white fit. You know, definitely not schoolboy look. Um, I also got these um, white straight leg jeans from the Uniqlo U collection. This past Uniqlo U collection, um, and it's kind of like an eggshell color, super stiff. Hey, what size are these? These are a twenty-three. They look ma they're massive. Yeah, they look like they can fit my waist. Hey, I'm pretty see, sure I can fit in these. We have evidence <laughs> that he copies everything that I buy. I'm pretty, yo, do you see? Let me buy those off you. I'm pretty sure I can fit those. Yeah. They look like a 14 inch waist. Yeah, they're more of a mid rise. Okay. So. Oh, they might be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're more of a mid rise, oh but God. yeah, they're great. And I got them tailored to be, um, yeah, to kind of spill right above the boot or any type of shoe. And then I paired it with my prize possession, my baby, my Yang Lee double breasted. Get out of the frame, Alec. Who cares that you're here? My Yang Lee zipper coat, super thick wool, handmade in Italy. And yeah, you know, RIP to Yang Lee because he doesn't make anything great anymore but this is such a great staple canadian winter piece yeah yeah and uh yeah that's my fit those are right those are right okay okay alec is finally letting me talk so our last piece that we styled were these uniqlo u flare women's jeans uh, we got these for such a great price. Uh, shout out Krisha for not being able to <laughs> refund her items and forcing us uh, to use the store credit. Um, but yeah, these are really great. Oh, um, these were sh sitting on the on the shelves for like what, yeah. fifteen dollars. Yeah, for fifteen dollars, <laughs> which is crazy. And I guess from this video, you can tell we love Uniqlo, but we definitely both really love a flare silhouette, makes our legs look super long and really easy to style. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yep, yeah, let's, um, you can go first for this one and show off your outfit that you've chosen for this one. So, um, yeah, so let's get it. So for my fit, I did a Margiela MM6 zebra bodysuit um the material is super similar to the marine sayer tops so super fitted really comfortable um, and easy to style with the pants um, and on top i paired it with this vintage jacket 
uh, that I found in Toronto. It is super similar to Castle Editions in like a MAC coat, super oversized boxy style. And it's in a, a pleather that honestly feels like real leather and it has a fleece lining. But yeah, really great vintage find. Oh, and it has this really nice back seam detail that I love and makes it really tenty. And for the shoes, I had to go with my new cop which are these amazing old Celine Phoebe Philo um, slides. And they also do become a sandal as well um, because you can move the strap, but I do love to just wear them. Just like this, I've never seen them before on anyone. So these are really special to me and I've had my eye on these for a really long time. So I'm really happy that I got them. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, probably your best fit out of all three. Really? Yeah. Mm. But also, <laughs> all right, so for me, I went um, on top and tucked into the flares is my Peter Doe asymmetrical tank. I love this baby. Sorry, it's a bit wrinkly. Um, but yeah, this is the detailing and the, I believe this is viscose, but feels so good, looks so good on body, and it just makes me look a bit more snatched. I mean, any. Um, tanks, uh, beatery vibes kind of just looked, gives you that nice snatch look. So, and I also just went with a more of a, you know, very fashion runway look. Um, so I went with this uh, Margiela runway, I forgot, I think Fall Winter 18 maybe, The this PVC coat, super fire. Shout out to Mark for hooking it up uh, on a trade for this baby, but I don't think I've shown this off on the video as well. Um, it does come Give that nice dirty foggy look so that's like in, in like intentional so it's not like oh, ew you've been sweating in that um, but i love how it has all these black stripe detailing the red colors on the collar there and it has all these buckles but very long trench coat um very fashion not very like wearable on an everyday basis and i probably wouldn't even wear that while it's raining either but more just to i don't even know how i would wear it out but who cares? And then on feet, I I think, like I said, with flares, it looks best, especially with these pants, since they're like probably like an inch too long on me. But with the uh, Saint Laurent um, Wyatts, they look like super good. Like they hit that, they hit the shoe so nice, and they spill over perfectly. And I think that these are the only pair of shoes in my closet that look really really good with the Uniqlo flares so this is my outfit super fashiony um and I think this is a nice cool 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 grocery look yeah you know corner store vibes I need a pack of gum look so yeah 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 so let us know who won that round I think I think though that was our best fit rounds I think in my opinion um but yeah I think these silhouettes look very effortless on us so mm -hmm. let us know guys let us know all right guys that concludes the fit battle let us know in the comments down below who you thought won each round were you feeling nico style more were you feeling mine um is there anywhere they can find you on the social media platforms um you want to plug anything uh no but you can connect with me on linkedin if you'd like, you know, you I'm all go. about that Lincoln build in 2021. Um, but yeah, you can't find me anywhere on social media, so good luck. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Nico is definitely one of those few people that I know that dresses very well, but doesn't have really any social media, so. Sorry guys. Um, anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Nico, once again for, you know, collaborating and building me building with me on this channel and yeah appreciate it all right guys that concludes this video take care guys peace